Hi everyone. Welcome to our kitchen. Usually you're in our music room, which is behind us here. Um, we have been users of Young Living Essential Oils and products for at least five years now, going on six, I believe. And um, we've had a couple parties to invite people to make things with us out of oils and share. Um, we haven't had one for a couple of years and we decided it's about time to have one again and Lori was planning on having one at her new home with Darren, but because of our quarantine, uh, that hasn't happened. So we thought we're just going to share with you uh, virtually and this is going to be very informal. <laughs> we have the table set up with some oils and some products and we're going to tell you about them and tell you why we use them. And I'm going to start it off by um, saying that I never dreamed in a million years that I would be so sold on something as I am um, Young Living Essential Oils, and specifically this company's essential oils. Um, because of the fact that uh, most of you who know me know that I have asthma, and my triggers are perfumes and any um, synthetically made um, chemical products, synthetically made perfumes, um, strong chemicals, um, smoke, and um, I have problems with um, anything that has artificial scents. I like plug-ins and um, I shouldn't say the name, the brand, but the kind of thing that plugs in a wall <laughs> and uh, any kind of deodorizer sprays that are artificial scents. And I automatically have uh, asthma triggered and I have um, oftentimes a headache. And it's very difficult for me because having asthma and having that type of asthma is something that people can't see. And they don't understand unless they've experienced it. And mine started when I had pneumonia when I was 30 and my mom started having issues after that. But so when I was introduced to um, essential oils, the Young Living Company, by our friend Amber, I thought, uh, there's no way I can handle handle this. They're so strong. They smell so strong. But um, I can handle flowers and I can handle nature. And I'm thankful for that. It's only artificial things. And so we started off with trying uh, thieves oil, which we'll get into later. And gradually, um, I found out I could handle everything. And it was, for a long time, it was emotional for me to talk about because I, we, my sons and my daughter grew up in a fragrance-free home. Fragrance-free everything, fragrance-free deodorant, fragrance-free absolutely everything. I can handle a little bit of Clorox, mild Clorox smell, and um, Clorox, when it dries, is, is, is safe. Um, but if you want to talk to me personally, and I'll share my story, and I'll share feelings I have about about some products, and I'd be glad to talk to you anytime. Um, I'm real sensitive to that because I don't want people to think that I'm weird or that um, it's all in my head because it's not. And so many people have issues like I do now. But I was so thankful, and it was like a gift from God for me to find out that I could use Young Living's essential oils. Um, so I knew nothing about essential oils, what they were. And I'm just going to read from <laughs> some papers here. Um, and also to let you know, we are not selling these. I mean, if anyone is interested in becoming a member and purchasing, by all means, you know, let us know. We can help you through it. It's a journey. We are still learning. We'll be learning for years to come. Um, essential oils have been around since the beginning of time, pretty much, thousands of years. And um, they offer benefits from cosmetic to dietary um, to wellness, well-being, um, spiritual and religious uses, as you know from um, Bible oils, which we'll get into just briefly. Um, and Young Living has been on the forefront of bringing this ancient tradition of using essential oils to our modern time, modern uses. 
and there are millions of people. It's, it's Young Living is the world leader in essential oils, um, and they pride themselves on their purity. And um, the Young Living oils can be ingested, and they can be worn, they can be diffused, and they can they um, are just amazing. They're just amazing. Um, they're extracted through careful steam distillation, resin tapping, cold pressing, and the purest essential oils are far more powerful than the botanicals from which they come. And they are, they are the lifeblood of the plant. They're the lifeblood of the plant. Um, now there are a lot of companies out there, reputable companies, which um, sell essential oils, buy them in the store, but um, you have to be very careful because a lot of them are just processed for aromatherapy, um, for inhaling. And if you look on a bottle, it says, do not ingest, do not this or that. So you have to be really careful what you buy. Um, so I had a bad experience with some essential oils that went into uh, a popular store that had a diffuser and they had oils just a year or so ago, Lori and I were there. And I smelled their lavender oil and I started having an asthma attack right away. And I knew that uh, those oils were not pure. Um, lavender can be uh, made synthetically. A lot of the oils can be made synthetically and um, or like chemically identical substitutes. Um, so, let's see. So the Young Living Company, they pride themselves on this seed to seal um, production process. And I would encourage you to go on their website, youngliving.com, and read about their seed to seal process and how they and how they do their strip testing and everything. And um, the company started in 1993 by uh, Gary and Mary Young. And it's worldwide, all countries all over the world. Um, and one thing I would encourage you to do if you want to get started and try them, I mean, we are always more than happy to give samples to people and try to explain the best we can. Um, and like I said, it's an education. It's just, it's such an amazing uh, process to learn. And there's so much more that we have to learn and we just haven't taken the time to learn as deeply as we can, and actually I plan on that, on really delving into the chemical uh, makeup of them more than I know. And in the beginning, we used just a few of them. We got the premium starter kit like we have on the table. That's just an example. Those aren't the exact oils in it. The kit comes with um, the oils that are on this paper here. And um, I can post that on Facebook too. But um, and it's they're just a, <clears throat> a nice sampler size. Here's a diffuser. This is a desert mist diffuser. It can make different colors. It's real pretty. <laughs> um, and you just put about five drops of oil and water in that. Um, we have some of the products lying around here, but. What we did was we kind of started out slow. We had our starter kit and we just kind of got to know the oils a little bit and and friends that used them and there's a leader in the area, Laura Franks, who's amazing and and I was texting with her or messaging with her today. She's amazing and she's so helpful and she does this full time. And um, so I just, like I said, I never dreamed in a million years that I would be so involved in a company or a product like this, but it has it has been so amazing for my health and my, my well-being. And as the evening progresses, we're we're gonna try to not take too much of your time tonight. Um, and you can always watch the rest later if you want. If you don't watch it all live, I'll just show you real quick another thing that got me so uh, enamored with them uh, was really thinking um, of how ancient they are and how it isn't a new modern thing. I mean, the use of essential oils is real trendy right now, but it's not new. Um, and we have this Bible kit, it's available from Young Living and it has oils from, that were used in the Bible. And 
it's emotional to think about that. Um, uh, hyssop, cassia, spikenard, gal galbanum, anica, rose of Sharon, myrrh, myrtle, cypress, uh, sandalwood, cedarwood. And uh, another thing about the oils too is some are very affordable. You only need like a drop or two. Um, the bottles, the little five milliliter bottles hold about like 85 drops. And I was gonna look up and see how many oils, how many singles and blends Young Living produces. I think that like a lot, like several hundred. <laughs> and it's pretty amazing. But, um, and they, the prices, differ because of the rarity of the plants. Like the citrus oils are very affordable. Um, and the rose oil though takes like, huh, sorry, I should have looked that up again too. I've forgotten like 10,000 pounds of roses or something for a five milliliter bottle, something crazy like that. <laughs> I'll have to re-look re at that again. I'm just doing that off the cuff. But rose oil's the most expensive one and you barely even need a drop of it. It's so potent. So um, I am going to go ahead and see, would you like to talk next, Jerry? Like I said, we're just kinda, Jerry's gonna talk about his favorites, some of the things he uses. Hello, Jerry here. I am Sandy's husband. And um, just wanted to talk about a few um, products that I use regularly that I really appreciate. Um, the first one is Panaway, and uh, Panaway is a combination of wintergreen, helichrysum, heliochrysum, heliochrysum, mm -hmm. <laughs> clove, I can pronounce that one, and peppermint. Um, so um, this is um, a really um, wonderful wintergreen kind of a... Um, um, They're natural menthol. Me a menthol, that's the word I was searching mm -hmm. for, a menthol. They're real um, menthol. And it's, it's, it smells fantastic. Um, it has a wonderful aroma to it. And it has a, an immediate, as you might imagine, like an immediate cooling sensation. So I use this topically, as is typically used by most folks, I think. Um, the rollerball thing is super convenient for application of it. So I have a chronically um, stiff and sore neck. So um, it's just a simple matter of just rolling a little bit on um, each side of my neck and then massaging it in a little bit. And um, it's just amazing how, how instantaneous um, there is some relief to um, to uh, soreness and muscular soreness and stuff like that. So may I interject? Please do. So Panaway, um, the first year that we used the oils, I had plantar fasciitis on my one foot, and I suffered with it for a year. I went to the foot doctor, blah blah blah, and it was suggested to me that I put Panaway on my foot, and it is it's real menthol. Like if you buy um, menthol products. As painkillers, they might work fine, but most of them are synthetic. They're not real stuff, and this is just straight, real menthol. The mints are menthol. <laughs> and I used Panaway on my foot for, uh, I put it on at night, and after two weeks, my plantar fasciitis had eased up. And it, it, it's a true story, and it's amazing. Um, I did start wearing a better support shoe, but I had been trying all kinds of things for a year. And uh, it was amazing, truly amazing. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, so I, that's, yeah, amen to that. It's, it's really great um, to be able to use a natural product. Um, it honestly is because, you know, I'm tempted to, um, to just, you know, use a leave or something like that, you know, because um, I have an arthritic neck and stuff. It'd be an easy thing to fall into just popping some Aleve or whatever. Um, it's really great to not have to do that, and I want to stay away from doing that. And so it's really nice to have a natural product um, that works, that helps me. Uh, next um, is this product here. It's called Prostate Health. 
So for men of a certain age, if you will. So this is um, caplets in there and ingested, obviously. So prostate health um, has a couple of things in it that have been well known for a long time to uh, help with prostate health, uh, saw palmetto and pumpkin seed oil. And the, uh, the blend of uh, essential oils uh, in it are geranium, fennel, myrtle, lavender, and peppermint. And so this is um, prescribed, it's, um, the dosage is um, one capsule uh, twice a day. So I have a, a vitamin pill that I, that I take for my eyes uh, twice a day anyway, so it's pretty easy for me to um, bring that into my uh, morning and evening uh, regimen uh, of supplements to take that I take orally. And then the next one um, is valerian. So um, I also use valerian topically and it has um, a wonderful um, calming effect and uh, what I would typically do is to apply valerian to the bottom of my feet, to my soles of my feet, um, at bedtime is a really uh, nice thing to help calm me down and really help me to get to sleep better. I found it helps me to get to sleep uh, faster and I feel like I'm sleeping better um, with that simple, just, just a very small amount of massage into the bottom of my feet and um, I find that it's, it's, it helps me uh, with uh, relaxing me and helping me to sleep. And then um, one of my favorite oils and truly one of my favorite fragrances, um, aromas, is grapefruit oil. And um, I just I just love how it smells. And it's um, really nice to just pop a drop or two into a glass of water. And I also like to just apply it uh, to my skin um, uh, to just have that kind of instant aroma therapy kind of uh, sensation. Um, and uh, it just it can, seems to just brighten my mood. So that's it for me, those four. <laughs> okay, Lori, do you want to go next? Do you want me to hold it so you two can yes. go together? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Flo. Hi, Maura. Hey, Jared. <laughs> 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 so I'll talk first about the Vitality oils. So, I'll grab some of them here. So, the difference between if you are looking at the Young Living website and you see that there are some oils that are labeled as Vitality. So, this one's called Lemon Vitality. And then you'll see regular lemon oil that's not Lemon Vitality. And the difference between Lemon Vitality and Lemon Oil is that there's no difference at all. That it's the exact same oil in the bottles, both of the bottles. So, but Lemon Vitality is the one that's suggested to ingest. Yes, labeled for ingestion. Right, yes. so it's for ingestion. Yeah, just like with the grapefruit, um, there's a grapefruit Vitality labeled for ingestion. Mm -hmm. And just some of the Vitality ones are, this is the grapefruit Vitality, and again, it's the same oil that's in the grapefruit oil that Jerry showed you. And... We have rosemary vitality that's wonderful to cook with. Mm -hmm. I add this to my pasta sauces. Mm -hmm. So good. Yes. <laughs> and frankincense vitality. Frankincense, oh. And that's awesome to drop a drop under your tongue. Frankincense has a real crazy flavor, but it's wonderful. Yeah, it's very strong. You only need one drop. Um, and I use regular frankincense or frankincense vitality. You can use this topically too, but. I use frankincense, the regular one, topically on my face every night. I add one drop of the regular frankincense in my moisturizer, and I just rub it in, and I rub it in my skin each night, and that's all I do. And then we have Orange Vitality, which is also really wonderful in water. Hmm? And I think that's all. Oh, one more. And Basil Vitality. There's a lot of new Vitality yes. oils that have come out. Yes. Um, and, and um, it's kind of a long story why uh, Young Living has them labeled some vitality and some not. 
And if you, uh, we can explain that a little deeper to you personally, if you'd like. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to get into that here, really. But there are lots and lots of oils that are ingestible, but they don't have a vitality label. So, mm -hmm. um, and there are ways of finding out which ones are ingestible and which ones aren't. And ways of finding out all the historically ways that uh, they're used and um, for what wellness issues mm -hmm. and so on. <laughs> okay. And I guess real quick, I'll show you the Thieves line. So Thieves Oil, we don't have the Vitality, I don't think, or we have the Vitality somewhere. Yeah, we have one somewhere. Well, we have Thieves Oil and then Thieves Vitality, which you can ingest as well. We put it in capsules. Mm -hmm. um, so the Thieves line is amazing, and it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-everything. It's like a complete germ Buster. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, I'm not seeing everyone's comments, but Pam McDonald says hi. hi. And and Suzanne, yes, you can use all of the oils in the diffuser. Mm -hmm. yep, all of them. Citrus fresh right now in the diffuser. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you some of the Thieves products that we use. Ugh. This is the Thieves. Can't live without that. Waterless hand purifier sanitizer. <sighs> and this stuff is wonderful. It doesn't dry out your hands like regular yeah. Silky. other kinds of ones with lots of alcohol do. Yes, it's silky. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And it's safe to use around children too, which is great. Hi, Emma. And then this is the Thieves Hi, Art. Pumping Hand Soap, mm -hmm. which is also really wonderful, safe for the whole family to use. You don't have to worry about all that yuckiness mm -hmm. of your fragrances or chemicals being in there. We mm -hmm. use that in our house and use mm -hmm. it here. And then this is our favorite toothpaste right now. This is the only toothpaste I've tried by Young Living, and I don't think I can try another one because it is so wonderful. It's the Thieves Whitening Toothpaste. Mm -hmm. and it has all the Thieves products have the same um, stuff that's in Thieves Oil, the same mm -hmm. oil. So it's clove. I can read it from the back. Well, I'll go over that. So it's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm. Hey, Irina. <laughs> so listen, Thieves. Hey, Connie. We got lemon, clove, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary. So those are the five major components that make up thieves oil, and you'll find all of those all of those oils in all of these thieves products. So if it's labeled thieves, you can be sure that those are gonna be in there. And thieves is uh, a natural antiseptic, antimicrobial, and antibacterial, antifungal. Mm -hmm. um, clove oil has been used by Dennis for years and years, and um, it, it's a natural numbing uh, agent, agent and, and an antiseptic, and it's fantastic. I have a, a tooth that's bothered me and haven't gotten to the dentist, and when I, it starts to bother me, I put clove oil on my gum, and I only need to do it once, and it's good for days and days, long time. I will say that I also had, I was told as a dentist that I had a cavity, and afterwards I had put off getting the cavity filled, and I, my mom had told me to put clove oil on the gum around the cavity, and the next time I went to the dentist, they told me I didn't have a cavity anymore, so that's all I'm saying about that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. I it is not, true. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know how that works, but. It yeah. is true. And then also this is the Thieves cleaner, which is just all of our favorites. You don't yeah. need any other household cleaner. This can replace it all. Yes. You can replace window cleaner, anything that you use to remove stains. You can use it in the washer. And you just need a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's very, very concentrated. Hey, Keith. Keith loves Thieves cleaner. And you can find actually on the back, if you can see this, it's the ways that you can dilute it. Mm -hmm. So you only need, so for instance, if I were to fill this glass bottle, mm -hmm. I would fill it with water, and then I'd take the cap off of the thieves cleaner, mm -hmm. and I'd pour a little bit in here, and I'd pour about half a cap only into mm -hmm. this, and then that would last me like a couple weeks. And if you want, you can add other essential oils too to, mm -hmm. to your spray. Um, if you want to add some others just for an extra oomph, you can add that to thieves cleaner too, but you don't need to. Which is very, very highly concentrated also. Yeah, it looks very small, but this thing can last you months and months and months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very concentrated. And, so that's and thief spray. Thief spray. Mm -hmm. Another 
way that you can disinfect on the go. Yep, <laughs> yep. So yeah, that's what I have so far about thieves. There's a lot more thieves. Well, there's products. so many other thieves products, thieves. So I encourage you to go on youngliving.com and explore. If you have any questions, mm -hmm. just reach out. Darren's going to talk about some of his favorite oils. <laughs> I have uh, four oils here, and the first one I'm going to talk about is Peace and Calming. Peace and Calming, That's one yeah. Of my favorites. Um, I use this a lot at work um, whenever I'm in my office and I just need to calm down, just have some, <laughs> have some peace. Um, I just use this uh, rollerball. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. You can just rub it on your neck. Yep, it comes mm -hmm. in a rollerball as well. So, yeah. mm -hmm. just rub it in, massage it in really helps me. Um, the ingredients in Peace and Calming are patchouli, tangerine, orange, wang wang, mm -hmm. and uh, blue tansy. Mm -hmm. And another good trick we use this for is our puppy. Mm -hmm. He's been crazy at night, runs mm -hmm. around like a maniac. So mm -hmm. we put one drop on our hand, rub it in, and just massage it into his mm -hmm. fur. Totally safe. And yep. he just Asleep, he, it's so. crazy. Yep. We've had friends over and we've done that. We don't even put a whole drop on. We just kind of put it a little bit in our hand and he'll massage it in his hand and just rub it gently on his fur, not rubbing mm -hmm. it in too much or anything. Mm -hmm. And he just falls asleep. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> in, a, in a good way, you know. Uh -huh. And then he wakes up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Very safe. Mm -hmm. Very All safe. Right. And the second oil that I use every single day is cedar wood. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that I definitely need when I go to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, I snore a lot. And <laughs> one, it helps me not snore. I rub it on hey, my, Cecilia. I rub it on my Hi, feet. And I rub it on my neck and my chest. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it stops me from snoring mm -hmm. and it helps me sleep a lot better. Mm -hmm. And ever since I've been using it, I just, I need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very affordable one too. Snoring has and, <laughs> and I've dropped it directly on the dogs to help as a bug repellent, too. Mm -hmm. And because um, cedar wood, cedar repels bugs, cedar mm -hmm. chests. I have an antique cedar chest, and moths and bugs do not go in it. And cedar wood is made from its cedar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it and is. The last two oils that I use, um, it is Citrus Fresh mm -hmm. and Northern Lights. Oh. And Lori and I uh, have made a beard oil. I rub mm -hmm. my beard every every morning. Uh -huh. the shower, and it helps condition my beard, make it smell a lot better. <laughs> yep. So these two oils, we were the we blended them together in the bottle that we made, so that mm -hmm. it made its own unique fragrance. Yeah, in this bottle. That it's so much fun because you can make just endless, endless endless products and things out of just having you can have just the premium starter kit of oils mm -hmm. and is peace and calming in this right now I think so. uh yes it is peace and calming's in the starter kit yeah um you can just oh my gosh there's so much so online so many ideas so many uses um we we um uh, oh sorry i should have darren hold this now um <laughs> Would you want to hold it? <laughs> yeah, Irina, we can we can get you hooked up. Sorry, my finger. Um, so you can what you do is when you start using the oils, you can just put one drop on your skin. Is it too bright? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just coming in there. Just put one drop on your skin and see if you have a reaction. Now I can. It's called using them neat. I can use them plain. I can use them neat. Almost any of them. Now, the hot oils that have like cinnamon and clove in them, like these, um, you you will want to dilute them. Oh, how we got started using these was for snoring. It was for snoring because we were told, oh, if you maybe put a little on your chest and breathe it in, it'll help open your airway at night and so on. And I'm telling you, it works. We have this really cool diffuser that Young Living doesn't sell anymore, and you put um, a bottle attaches to it and it's not diluted with water and it's we have kept it in our room for five years now and our room gets a little musty too because it's in the middle of the house and it's it's and we have all the pine trees around here and so 
The Thieves helps with the mustiness. It helps tremendously. And, um, but we use just the pure Thieves oil, but it really helps with snoring. It's amazing. And a number of them, too, help with snoring, but um, it is hot. If you put on your skin, you might get a little red. It's not going to hurt you, but you can dilute it um, with a plain carrier oil. A carrier oil just means olive oil or almond oil or coconut oil. Coconut oil. Um, and, oh, the sun's not so bad right now, maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, you can buy these roller balls, bottles online. Um, I usually get the Vivoplex ones. I like that brand. Um, and so you could, like, fill a bottle up, um, say, yay, like, three-fourths of the way with the plain carrier oil. And then put maybe, you can experiment, like, maybe ten drops of start, an oil in it to me. dilute it. Maybe five. Yeah, maybe five drops. You don't need a lot. And then you push it down. You push that down with this, or you can just use your fingers. Um, and then these roller balls, if you get a starter kit, you'll get at least one of these in the starter kit. And you can take, um, I'll show you. You can take cap off like that. This on it, and you have to use this lid, and then you screw it down, and then it's a roller ball. And we save. Ooh, no. <laughs> it <came off. laughs> it's not a roller ball. We save our empty bottles. It will be a roller ball. It will be a roller ball. <laughs> and anyways, yeah. It's a ball. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really cool. They. It's fun to roll things on. So you can dive with things. You can mix up different types of oils together. Um, we use, we make sprays. Uh, oh, let me talk about this real quick, and then we'll get to Lori. So we, I've been using, since I can't use regular disinfectants because of my asthma, um, we make our own. And you can use the Thieves Cleaner, and you can add Thieves Oil to it, and that disinfects. Um, if you want to add a little extra punch to it, you can add um, some hydrogen peroxide. And one thing I've been doing is I've been, I can handle the smell of rubbing alcohol, uh, just not like in my face. But um, I, I've been keeping in my purse just rubbing alcohol and then thieves oil or whatever, uh, orange oil, whatever other oil I want to scent it with. But hydrogen peroxide will do the same thing. Um, and these cleaner is awesome also. Uh, let's see, I'll show you some things I use real quick every day, some of the supplements. I use the Inner Defense, which has these oil in it. So I'm going to go a little quicker. Um, and it has other great oils in it too. This Multi Greens is fantastic, um, full of great stuff. And Life9 is a probiotic, which is all natural. This Agile Ease has helped my joints tremendously. And if I uh, have gone without it, then I can feel it in my joints. This is amazing. And I'm just going quickly with these. And if you don't mind, you can read about them on the website. Um, another thing we like to do is I have these all set up to do, and I'll just show you. We, you can do um, oil shots, and I learned that right off the bat from a friend. Copaiba is a, a natural pain reliever, mm -hmm. and you can take a little bit of juice in a cup. You can add a couple drops of Copaiba, throw in some frankincense. I'll just demonstrate. Um, you could add as many oils as you want, just a couple drops, and then... Shoot it down. <laughs> it's an oil shot. It's shot, 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 shot. <laughs> and you can make <laughs> you can make capsules. Um, you can get empty gel caps, and you can open them up, and you can put thieves oil is wonderful to add, or frankincense, thieves and frankincense, and lemon, or oh, there's so many that you could you could put in a gel cap. 
Um, and usually I only do like a maximum of like six drops in a gel cap. Some, or you can try to fill it up if you want. Um, we keep sprays around of Thieves Cleaner, uh, uh, we, or like I said, peroxide, or even just water and an oil just to freshen the air. Is it too bright over there? Yeah. <laughs> so we have all different size bottles, and then we get labels that are for glass. Um, you don't want to just use any old label. You want to make sure it's a label that will, is for glass. Um, oh, another thing I just learned, which I'm not going to do tonight, but, but we are going to make one, is I read on a, on a site um, where someone um, takes olive oil and then puts Vitality uh, cooking oils in, um, like rosemary, rosemary and olive oil like flavoring your olive oil, basically. Um, you could use basil and rosemary and parsley and all different kinds um, to spray on your veggies. Can you think of anything else? No. Lori has some other things to show. Okay, I would just like to add that this woman drinks no coffee and she gets all of her energy from the oil. <laughs> I do not drink coffee. <laughs> it is remarkable. <laughs> I'll kind of end the video a little bit with just sharing some of my favorite things too. Um, this one is, I just got this in my order today, uh, it's a Dragon Time bath and shower gel and it is awesome. It's more of a hormonal support. There's a Dragon Time essential oil which is for hormonal support and they made it in a shower gel. So I'm excited to try that again. And then Darren loves this one. This is the Morning Star shower gel and it has energy boosting oils like lemon and rosemary and it smells really really good and then this one i also got today that i haven't tried before which is the animal sense shampoo so that'll be good for a baker yeah there's a whole line of um animal oils too mm -hmm. oh, um, there's just you just have to go on the website and explore for yourself because there's okay. just an oil for everything yes and our vet uses young living essential oils our vet keeps them um, in the exam rooms so if you hear people say you can't use essential oils on animals, yet that's absolutely true. You cannot use all essential oil companies on animals. Mm -hmm. But Young Living, there are plenty of our pure essential oils that can be used on pets. It has to be. And on babies. Yeah, very pure. So. Yes, it has to be pure. It can't be anything adulterated. Don't believe what you hear on the internet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And my last um, other three favorite ones that I'll just share real quick are... This is one that I use every single day, and this is geranium oil, and it's another hormonal support. It is wonderful, it is very uplifting. I'll just put a drop, when I'm in the shower, I'll just put a drop on my palm, and I'll rub it in, and I'll just rub it in my hair, because I say that my hair is the best diffuser of all, because the scent <laughs> stays in my hair all day long, and it's very, very nice. Um, and then Stress Away, this often comes in the starter kit, and it's another one that it's stress away. Yeah, it's Melts your stress, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then citronella oil, which has been a lifesaver last year and this summer, now that we have Baker, we'll do the same thing that we do with the Peace and Calming oil. We'll just drop a drop on our palm and we'll rub it in the spur before we go hiking. And I have watched ticks jump off of him with just this. Mm -hmm. And it's really remarkable. And he's, he loves it. It smells great, and we also diffused it on our porch last week in the diffuser. Next to, we had some bees, and the bees were gone, and mm -hmm. it's really wonderful stuff. So yeah, those are some of my favorites as and well. It's, and it's safe, too. Citronella is very safe. Yep. yep. Um, I have just a few more things, and we'll probably wrap it up. Um, and I enjoy doing this a lot, and I think that maybe next month or maybe in a few weeks or so we should do another one and just maybe get into more depth about the oils a little bit more. Um, um, the insect repellent. Jer, behind you too in the drawer is I think the sunscreen's there. What oil did you use in your hair? Pam was wondering what hair. What hair? What oil? Oh, it was geranium. 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 Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Pam. 
It's wonderful, Pam. <laughs> it is wonderful. It's, you don't need much. You don't need much of any of this. It's the main ingredient in joy. When, when I first got my starter kit and I saw all those little tiny bottles, I thought, are those sample bottles? No, they're not samples. Um, the oils come in both 15 milliliter and 5 milliliter. And um, it just depends on the oil. The, like rose oil only comes in 5 milliliter because it's so, um, it's such a rare oil. And so anyway, insect repellent is fantastic. I mean, you can use just citronella, but this insect repellent is wonderful. You can use it on pets and, and babies and children. And, and I just take it, it pops open like this, but I put it in a spray bottle and you can spray it on. Um, I love this lavender lotion. Kid Sense lotion for kids is fantastic. There's a whole baby line too of uh, seedlings. There are seedling uh, creams and lotions and body wash. But we use these, this, oh, wish you could smell it. It's oh, the lavender, it's lavender and it's so wonderful. We keep it in our bathroom, we use it ourselves and we wipe around the bathroom with it too. Um, it's, these are fantastic. And let's see, things I keep in my purse, Digize oil is a digestive oil, it has fennel in it and some different things and I can just drop it on my tongue and it, or you can rub it directly um, on your stomach. One thing is that these go into your bloodstream within a couple of minutes. And when you think about the things that we put on our skin and that we inhale into our bodies, those things are going into our bloodstream very quickly too. And so we need to keep in mind what we're using around our children, what our children are inhaling every day, what we're inhaling every day. And, it, and it's really thought provoking. It truly is. And because of my health issues, I under, it's, it's, I've had to deal with it. And so I, I would love to see the world go more natural <laughs> for my sake, for the sake of everybody. Um, I'm talking too fast, sorry. When I get excited, I talk really fast. And we're going to cut it off here in a couple minutes. Another thing I keep in my purse is peppermint. I love peppermint. And I'll just drop a drop of peppermint vitality on my tongue too. And um, it cools my stomach down too. And, it, and if I have to be around um, people that have strong perfume on or something, I'll take peppermint oil and I'll just put a little bit under my nose and I'll breathe that in. And Why don't that you helps. tell them how you can get started? Yes, so if you're interested in the Young Living Company and you want to look at the website and check everything out, um, the best thing to do really is to get the premium starter kit that comes with a diffuser and it comes with a set of oils, not the ones exactly in the box but on the picture, and some other samples. There is a drink called Ningja that they make. It's a juice and it's uh, wolfberry and it has oils in it and it's fantastic. Um, and a sample of that will be in the kit. Or you can also just get a basic kit. You can get a thieves kit. You can, there are different starter kits you can get online. And if you do decide to do it, um, please let us know because we have like member numbers and you can be on our team and we will help you through your journey. And like I said, we've been doing this for a long time and I'm sold for life. I truly am. Um, I want to use these products the rest of my life. We're on a monthly shipping thing called Essential Rewards where you get points for um, how much you purchase and you can get free stuff and so on and so forth. But no matter putting all that aside, I just love the products and we just love sharing them and I've given tons of samples to people and I just love sharing with people. Um, because they've become a part of our lifestyle. It's really a life, lifestyle kind of thing too. And you can just have a couple favorites or you can have a ton of favorites. And you can learn as you go along. And, and it's really cool, it really is. And Jared, did you have any other thoughts? I think you said it all. <laughs> we'll do a concert next, not tonight. <laughs> but thank you for those who are watching and thanks for, um, allowing us to share 
this passion, and we thank God that that we were introduced to to this goodness. And I'm trying to think if there's one more last thought. And I talk really fast, like I said, when I get excited. So I think that's all I need to talk about for now, and we'll think of some other things. And if any of you have questions, we can always do another one, like I said, maybe next month. And we can use questions that people have asked. Or if you say, hey, I've heard about this, can you explain it to me?